Hey, my name's Jess. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Kisses Collection. I'm going to go over why I shot things the way I did, point out some helpful styling tips, and recommend you some props. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is actually going to be props. For this shot, I did multiple risers to increase height, like I've talked about in the past couple videos, and I added my fake black eucalyptus. Speaking of fake plants, a really popular prop for Valentine's Day is fake rose petals. And they're fine, they're okay, but you know what I'm going to say. We can do better. Instead of fake flower petals, let's just get real flowers. So I headed over to my local grocery store and picked up a couple bouquets. Quick interruption. Have you joined our formula course yet? You get access to every formula video we've ever done, and we have three new ongoing series by yours truly, where I talk about the science behind styling, branding and photography, and my favorite gear and gadgets. All right, shameless plug over, back to the Kisses collection. Let's put one of the bouquets into a vase. Immediately, it adds a lot more life into my photo using real flowers. It's one of those small things you can do that makes a huge difference. Your products are nice and deserve nice props. It'll help lift the whole photo up. All right, back to styling. So for this photo, I'm shooting a necklace. In order to have it look nice for an eye level angle, I just draped it over this rock. Now let's add another flower on the opposite side of my vase. One of the best parts about using real flowers is that you get to use their petals as well. I personally love various size props in my photos and there's no better combo than flowers and petals. This is something I haven't talked about before, but whenever I do add small props like petals, I like to typically start out by just lightly tossing them to see how they lay. Then I take a test photo to see how everything's looking and make adjustments after. Sometimes they don't need much, but I like to make sure they each have a little breathing room or they don't look too symmetrical. Now that we have our scene beautifully styled, let's see how it looks with all the surfaces. And these all look great. I always love seeing how much a scene changes just off a simple surface swap. Mm, wait a minute. Let's try something different for this one. Let's remove all of the flowers and petals, which makes it look like this. I like it. But now let's add red roses. Real ones, of course. How gorgeous does this look? Now let's do a little side-by-side -side action versus its old setup. It's a pretty drastic difference, which brings me to my next topic, leaning into complementary colors for your scene. Before you even have a chance to think about why the right photo looks better, your eyes will favor it. What makes this right photo look better is because the pinks and purple in the left photo just clash with the red surface. Let's switch the left photo back to a pink surface, and now both photos look great. For these next few photos, I'll be keeping the same setup. The only thing I'll be switching is gonna be the products and the surfaces. In fact, while we talk about these, I actually have another prop recommendation for you. Use an additional one of your products as a prop. I'll talk more about this in a second. Back to colors for now. So for these two photos, I'm using pink products with a pink background. Now let's switch it for a purple product. Immediately, it just looks not good, but we can fix it with this simple surface swap. Now it looks fantastic. You'll also notice that I have a second perfume in the frame, but it's not in focus. Well, that's intentional because I'm only using it as a prop. I want the focus to stay on the purple product, but having that red one in the frame lets customers know that there are other scents they can view. Now let's swap these two perfumes along with the surface. See how both of these look great? All right, now let's switch the surface again. Oh, something to point out, make sure you don't have any stickers on your products. Just pull them off for the photo. Now, because the surface is black and white, you can put any color on it and it'll look great. Just keep in mind what other colors you're using for props. For this photo, my props are all black and white, which is why I was able to keep them the same through all of the different photos. For this next photo, I'm actually gonna keep the colors just pink and white. So I'll start with a white riser since my product's gonna be a pink candle, and then I'll add a white vase with pink pampas and finish it with some matches. Now let's make these last few setups flat lays. This one is super simple. All I'm gonna do is add a heart-shaped dish and place my product in it. But look how cute this is. What product would you shoot like this? Also, if you don't have a heart-shaped dish, they're a fantastic prop to keep on your shelf. I have a few different ones. Also, how cute does this look by itself? Here's another photo of a product all by itself. I can already tell this is going to be one of my personal favorite surfaces and it's definitely joining my year-round collection. Now, 
I know these are mainly Valentine's Day surfaces, but this might be the last time to do a quick little holiday shot. So I just added a white riser, placed the earrings on it, and finished with a gold plant. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!